This is a video to show you how to load the drive parameters using the Comorgan ID software. So first thing I do is open that up. Uh, drive parameters are all the configuration for the drive, including the tuning values, which is really why we would be doing this. First thing I have to do is open up our program. Uh, it's one of my recents. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing this on the, uh, on the feeder, but it, it's the same really regardless of what machine you're using. So we wait for that program to open up. Okay, so now we're gonna to connect to the PLC. And you can see down here that now we're running, we're connected, you can see what's going on. So first thing we need to do is stop the PLC. So I've done that. Now we have to wait for the software to catch up. Okay, it says it's stopped. That's great. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put it into online configuration. That's that icon right there. And we'll wait for this. And now we see down here it says online config. So now the only way that works is if you toggle that on when the processor isn't running. Next thing we do is we come over to the tree under Project Explorer here, come up. And you can see we have horizontal and we have the vertical drives. So I'm going to click on the horizontal first, and that'll open up the horizontal. Now at the top, you can see I have a tab that says configuration. I click on that, let that open up, and there we go. Now one of the tabs over here you can see is parameters load save. So I'm going to open that up. And then we have uh, load from file. I'm going to click on that. And now you're going to surf to the, to the uh, parameter file that you want to use. So we're on the horizontal. And I have a file here called PDMM horizontal. That's the one for this machine. So I click on that. And then I go down and I click open. So now it's loading that file, all the parameters, into the horizontal drive, which is the PDMM drive. So we wait for that to finish. Okay, it says it was successful. Next thing you want to do is you want to save to device so that all those values get um, put into the drive and into the memory. So it says all uh, parameters were successfully loaded to the, into the drive and we saved it. So we can say okay. Okay, great. So now we did the horizontal. Now we're going to do the vertical. So I'm going to double click on vertical. It'll open up another window. So this one up here, you can see it says it's the uh, EtherCAT vertical. Great. Now we go to config on this one. Let it open up. And now you can see again at the top we have parameters, load, save. Click on that. Now we can do load from file. And now this is the vertical. For this one, it's that file right there. It says vertical. Click on it. Come down here and click open. Now it's loading all of the parameters into the vertical uh, drive. We'll wait for that to complete. And then we'll save it into memory of the drive. There we go. So now we'll uh, save it. And we're all set. So now I can say OK. And uh, that's all there is to it. So now these drives have the uh, values in them. Now I'm going to close this just because we don't want it open. Not that you would need to do that, but we'll just close it. And now we're back to that menu, the main menu. I come up here, and the first thing I need to do is toggle out of online configuration. There you go, it's off. So now if we go down here, that online configuration is gone. But we're still connected. So now we can just restart the PLC and wait for it to restart. Now we're rerunning and we would go over and reset the machine and we're ready to go. So that's all there is to uh, loading the parameters from uh, the Cole Morgan IDE software. It's the easiest way to do it. Of course, you could use uh, you could also use, I'm not going to save the program. Uh, you could also use 
uh, Comorgan workbench. There's another video on that, but that's a little more involved. You're going to load the same files using workbench, but you have to connect to the service port on top of each drive in order to do it. So it's easy, it's easy to do, but using the Cole Morgan ID software is by far the, the easiest method. That's all there is to it.